Hey guys, on the floor this time with my cards because of the sunlight. Look at that, <laughs> blazing glory. So I get these massive black shadows on my table, like so, like that, you know, on my table, and it was driving me nuts. So I had a little idea here. I'm still trying to work out an approach through cards to having a bit more of a sense of my astral realm journey, if you like, you know, how I'm supposed to approach it. And it was actually kind of intuitive. I immediately got the idea of pulling seven cards and then I, ch I shuffled and then I felt like, okay, so I can, uh, instead of just picking the seven from a particular part of the deck or from the top of the deck, as you might do, you know, or the bottom of the deck, you know. I thought I will go look for the Queen of Cups first, that you see in the center here, and uh, pick the seven cards on either side of her. And from that card on, I did, without any other shuffling, I did the same for the Page and the Knight. For some reason, the King of Cups doesn't seem particularly relevant for me at this time. I really like, however, the fact that I get three very different, um, different looking perspectives, you know, for what I assume to be at this point, uh, three parts of myself. So there's like the childlike part that is investigating this astral realm. There's a grown woman kind of a part and there's a night part. So as far as I'm concerned, that is kind of interesting to have three parallel perspectives, also because they're quite different. So the night seems very empowered with the world and the sun and the moon are there and the magician that is pretty awesome. The queen also, I would say, is empowered through the empress and the lover's I'm a bit iffy about the Hermit or the Monk card, but then again, that is my life to a large extent, so why not? It would be weird if he weren't there, because he's always there, the Hermit. And, uh, you know, a couple of cards on that side. And the Child's perspective is actually very different. There's a Ten of Swords there. You might consider that to be reversed right there, instead of upright, depending on how you look at it. I don't really work with reversals myself. So, um, very much more minor oriented, The which is kind of, you know, fitting in a way for the page card to be oriented. And then in particular, it looks like the sort of childlike, motivated, enthusiastic part that is into this stuff looking on the card to this side where there are three wands cards. So very, um, you know, seven, eight, and two. I can make sense of that. Yeah, you can make of this what you will. I just felt it was kind of an interesting way to work, um, to have, um, instead of going for a sort of a random cross-section through your deck, or as you would do if you've shuffled, and then you would, uh, you know, just do it by feel or do it really quickly or whatever else. Instead, I tend to sometimes pick a card that I want to see the perspective of. And in this case, I actually get three different um, views. This will need some writing up and some, uh, yeah, I will have to actually make this work for me because it's a lot of cards and a lot of different sides to things. So, yeah. So a really quick one from me this time. Maybe you find this inspiring. I don't know. I enjoy my cards anyway. See you next time. Okay. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.